the the lab leak theories have have uh, been reinstituted, which is such a weird uh, concept because like ultimately the lab leak theory, as is everything else, is still a fucking theory. So when the American Energy Department uh, hits a new analysis button on it, it's still a theory, and yet. Republicans and everyone goes, oh, dude, it was a bioweapon. <laughs> Thank you for admitting that. And we've been saying this from like, we've been saying this from the fucking jump that the zoonotic spread theory and the lab leak theory are both just theories. And um, their analysis was made with low confidence, but that's enough for people to be like, no, nope, this is substantial. This is new information. This is literally the fucking truth. This is what's going on here. Uh, we'll talk about it in a second. It's the same as like, it's the same with the, uh, with the masks. It's the same with the masks. It's like, oh, masks don't work. We got it. We were right all along, brother. It's all this shit. It's like, uh, lockdowns don't work, brother. We got it all along. It's like, first of all, you never did a lockdown. You never did a lockdown. For the most part, scientists believe that it's zoonotic spread. That's the working theory, even though lab leak is another theory but the consensus on the science side that isn't fucking the energy department or isn't like the Department of Homeland Security or the State Department, they still believe it's probably zoonotic, which is understandable, I think. That's usually how this goes. And it takes a long-ass fucking time. It takes a long-ass fucking time to actually find the truth about these sort of things anyway. So... Uh, the energy department analysis uh, concluded with low confidence that the coronavirus pandemic probably began with an accidental lab leak in central China. This is not the first department that the government uh, owns. Or the gov this is not the first government agency that has uh, came out with a report that's similar. Okay. As far as the uh, energy department goes, uh, they say it's probably an accidental lab leak in China. Republicans at Capitol Hill are teeing up new demands for information and broadening their planned probes of COVID-19's origins. For the most part, this is just about, I mean, you know what it's about. It's a, it's, it's people desperately looking for an I told you so moment. Okay. And uh, because it corresponds to like anti-Chinese sentiment, the American, the American government will do it. Like they'll, they'll give you that I told you so moment, even if it's like incredibly reactionary. And even if it's uh, technically self-defeating for the interests of the government, uh, whether it be controlling epidemics, pandemics, or, um, you know, whether it be uh, uh, establishing truth and, uh, and, and maintaining confidence within the government. What I'm saying is they'll cuck themselves in an effort to uh, say that, like, China is responsible for this. I've also never seen what the Energy Department, like, I'm, I don't know why the Energy Department is talking about this. Because <coughs> it's like, it's weird. It's weird for the energy department to cover this. Like, why are you in the energy department covering this? Like, I don't understand. What the fuck does this have to do with energy? Anyway, but that's different. Um, let's continue. The classifier report remains a minority view among those, uh, the nine intelligence agencies probing the pandemic's origin. Most of it still favor the theory that the virus naturally spilled over from animals to uh, humans, the zoonotic spread. I mean, I don't give a fuck about, like, the intelligence entities, by the way. I do care about, like, the, the scientific community's, uh, uh, you know, pandemic epidemiologists and, like, the scientific community's uh, analysis on it. And that has uh, continued to favor the zoonotic spread theory. Which is precisely why uh, I will, you know, I will maintain the position that it's, uh, this is a theory, just like the zoonotic spread is a theory. And uh, the more likely theory is the one I assume is the one held by the majority of scientists that know this process and not like a random uh, department. The U.S. Department of Energy National Virtual Biotechnology Laboratory is a consortium of DOE national labor laboratories. I guess this is why. I guess that makes sense. But yeah, regardless, uh, don't understand why they have a say in this process, but I guess they do. And uh, great, good on them for uh, coming out and revealing the truth. Coronavirus traces found in March 2019 sewage sample Spanish study shows. Um, 
It confuses me that the start is put on late 2019 in China when there's published paper confirming it was in Spain in March 2019. It also confuses me that um, they tried this already. People often forget that the first government agency that said that this was probably a Chinese lab leak, or the first people that came out with it were not like individuals. Like they weren't like independent journalists. It wasn't like Jack Posobiec or some shit. It was the fucking State Department. Like immediately after COVID happened, they were like, oh, oh that's, that's a lab leak, dog. That's definitely a lab leak. And at the time, it certainly was uh, going against like the, the understanding it was certainly going against the the scientific consensus on the matter, and it was a hypothesis regardless. It was a theory. It was like just like the lab leak was a theory. Um, the the zoonotic spread was a theory as well, but it was a working theory. It was the one that most people were on board with. So I don't give a fuck what Eric Weinstein is saying. It's not like he came up with it. The State Department came up with it. Okay. And then they also extended it from lab leak to like, well, that means it's man-made. It's a bioweapon, blah, blah, blah. All this like crazy shit. So them unrolling this one more time and unveiling it one more time as like a low confidence theory from yet another agency is weird because they've done this already. But, you know, it'll get the chuds chirping regardless. Um, it wasn't only reactionaries. Intercept wrote this last May. Yes, I know. I know. I know they did. I know. Ryan, Ryan Grimm even talked about it. I'm talking about the original inception, though. The original inception of the lab leak theory came from the State Department. If I was China, would rather accept the lab leak theory and just claim it was from a vaccine research safe face, the zoo theory, which just makes my country look bad in the eyes of the international community. It doesn't matter. Zoonotic spread happens all the fucking time. That's why there's a need for the World Health Organization and epidemiologists that work together. Because no matter what you say, yeah, no matter what you say, no matter what you fucking push for, it literally doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, here, the <laughs> DC's China war lobby dusting off their Iraq WMD tool to revive the lab leak theory. Going from... Uh, going from lab leak, most likely origin of COVID-19 pandemic energy department now says Michael Gordon wrote it. Michael Gordon got the, uh, got the, <laughs> uh, got the, got the plug for this story. Threats and responses. The Iraqis, U S says Hussein intensifies quest for a bomb parts. There was a second component to this, which was gain of function research. The pandemic should make us question the value of gain of function research, um, which a lot of people have an opinion on and say uh, they do not want gain of function research uh, to happen. I myself am a caveman. Okay. My, my opinion on the matter is I'm a caveman, but unlike all of the other cavemen or unlike most other cavemen, I at least know my limitations as a caveman. So I think to myself, let the scientists figure it out. I'm serious. Like for me, the way I understand gain of function uh, research is that it's like necessary to, to combat like really devastating mutated viruses down the fucking line. You know what I mean? I, I feel like it's anti-science to be like, no, we should, we should put a hold on science on scientific research uh, that is going to be increasingly more important as bacteria get stronger and are harder to combat as we have like anti um what's the fucking word for it god damn it we have like resistant uh diseases we have diseases uh, we have diseases that are resistant to medicine and antibiotic resistance as a consequence of factory farming by the way for the record shouts out to the vegans on that one there's at least like some some uh some truth there on the vegan side, like as, as antibiotic resistance grows, I feel like gain of functions research is going to be even more important. And yeah, it sounds scary to me. I've seen resident evil. I've seen all the zombie movies, right? What happens when fucking humans go too far? Yada, yada, yada. Uh, you know, it turns into a fucking bioweapon, but I do, I, I feel like 
because I am personally fearful of this, because of my own personal fears of this, uh, I can't just like put an end to it. You know what I mean? Because I see the other side of it and I see that people are that are may, way, way smarter than me uh, who think that it's like the right thing to do. I'm just going to go along with the people that know what the fuck they're talking about. Anyway, regardless of whether this was even a lab leak, I, I still probably wouldn't push for ending gain of function research. Labs are trash and is harmful. I don't think Chinese labs are trash. I think you're you're operating off of like xenophobic sentiment. If you think Chinese labs that are like being funded by the international community that abide by like the same protocols are actually trash. That's Oh, Umbrella Corp. Oh, 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 Resident Evil reference. Okay, got it. I have a master's degree in bioengineering. Gain of function is used to demonstrate how natural mutations can occur to a suspected virus that can make that virus dangerous to humans. This research is useful because it tells us regions uh, and potential zoonotic viruses to be aware of. There's debate about this in the scientific community, though. I've seen emails from folks at virology institutes thinking gain of function is irresponsible. Yeah. Yeah, careful dog. You're close to China. No, I just, I don't operate under the fucking idea that, like, Chinese labs are shit. We collab with Chinese academics in the U.S. Anyone who just straight up says China bad at academics, medical research, or just racist? Yeah. Gain of function research, for those of you who don't know at this point, which is kind of funny. Um, I don't know how the fuck you don't know what that is at this point because it was like a big major, major point of contention and I covered it regularly. Is when, uh, I mean, it's, this is a broad, uh, this is the broadest way to describe it, but in the most reductive terms, gain of function research is when you uh, take viruses that are out and about in the in the natural world, okay, in the real world, and beef it up in a laboratory in order to research it, in order to research how viruses in the, the natural uh, real world could uh, possibly become more dangerous or possibly could jump to human beings, oftentimes through bats, because bats have, like, crazy metabolism. That's why you see bats a lot uh, being, like, the primary... Uh, responsible animal that jumps from that basically takes it from one animal to another and then to human beings usually yeah they have a crazy immune system um yeah it's called vector so that's what they're um that's usually what they're studying that's usually what they're testing just so they have some kind of anticipation I'm not saying all labs with a theory as to how it leaked was because the work occurred in the wrong type of lab. I am sure this isn't the only place. I'm not saying it's even labs in China. Some labs are unsafe all over the world and in our backyards. Yes. Um, sure. But are you saying we should kill all bats? No, I never said that. Gain of function research is not inherently bad. It's bad if you suddenly cut funding, as Trump did, and they suddenly have to cut corners. It causes accidents. Also, no, Chinese labs are not trash. China has incredible research funded by the government. Please listen to me. Chatters don't understand research and how dedicated Chinese government is to it. Um, I feel like, I, I, I mean, gain of function is necessary. If anybody says otherwise, they're idiots. I mean, I, I feel like there's more, I mean, it's more contentious than that. I feel like even in the scientific community, there's still people that think that it's not good, that it's not smart, that it is scary. Um, there is debate on it. My bioengineering professor actually held a large debate about this a few weeks ago. Many scientists agree that gain of function research can actually lead to an increase of amount of top of the hour ad breaks. It's really terrifying how far these viruses can go. Okay. Um, we jumped over to gain of function. We jumped over to fucking lab leak shit. Uh, we don't know yet. And, uh, we will not know conclusively for a very long time in, uh, like,